Welcome to this week's video. These are the videos where I keep a weekly vlog of my activities as a working musician in the UK. So coming up in this week's video, my attempt to have a conversation with a child whilst playing. I play two instruments at once, I can only play one. I went to watch somebody who seems to be getting the hang of the slide guitar. And I get a new pedal. So before we get to the clips, I'm going to mention my new album again, which I've mentioned the last few weeks, but why not? It took me two years to make it, so I'm making as much noise about it as possible. Here it is on CD. I'll put some links in the description if you want to get a CD, but it's available on all digital platforms if you want to have a listen. It's also available on my website, which is imtjwalker.com. There's a music page on there where you can listen to the whole album. Um, and there's some links on there as well where you can download some uh, bonus material like the lyrics etc etc but I also want to mention that I've got a live show I'm supporting an artist who's over in the UK from Nashville on the 19th no sorry the 18th of November which is uh, next Friday and it's at Lewis Con Club Lewis is uh, near Brighton on the south coast of the UK so if there's anyone watching who's near please come along it'd be lovely to see some people who have been watching my YouTube channel who are there because they've seen me on there so uh, come along I'm doing a support slot before he plays I shall put a link in the description for where you can get tickets but yes it'll be good to see you if you can make it this first clip I'm going to show you is similar to what you might expect at the gig um, this is actually with Ralph and Mike who are the band and the slot I'm going to be doing next week is solo but it gives you an idea of uh, what it might sound like sort of broken down and acoustic this this track is Dreamcatcher it's from a gig we did a few weeks ago this is the first song on the album um, it's not acoustic on the album but this is our acoustic version so hope you enjoy this so here we are this is Dreamcatcher from the Hive Rooms which is in Surrey which is also a very good rehearsal studio which you shall see a bit later actually thinking about it so check this one out To the gigs now the first gig it was a saturday afternoon and it was a 50th wedding anniversary this is quite unusual I was just doing a little solo gig it was a kind of backgroundy thing and as part of the decoration and everything that was going on they had a sort of photo booth and these props and there was this very cute little boy who i think it was called felix and he came over and he had a like a piano strapped on like a keytar and he had a, an inflatable one an inflatable saxophone and he came up and he was chatting to me while i was trying to play and he was so cute i couldn't resist talking to him and chatting with him and he was very nice he was dancing away and it was like having a duo partner it was very good anyway i'll just show you this little clip of me attempting to play whilst having a conversation with him <laughs> And then I'll show you this because this is my quad cortex in action. Now I mention this most weeks, but I use my quad cortex um, for everything when I'm doing acoustic gigs. I can now use it as the looper and I can control itself. I use the quad cortex as a MIDI controller itself to control the MIDI on the quad cortex. I'm still not quite sure how it works, but a little MIDI loopback cable. And if you want to check out my setup there, it's in a video called hybrid mode, which I shall link to here, um, which goes over all the setup, but that's very useful. I abandon all my other pedals now, and I literally just take the Cortex for doing acoustic gigs. So here is just a solo. I've set up the uh, rhythm part on a previous loop, and then I'm just soloing over it. So check this one out. <laughs> Thank you. 
was the day when I went to see this person who seems to be getting the hang of playing the slide guitar. I went to see the Tedeschi Trucks Band at the London Palladium. That was great. Beforehand I went and met some other musicians, it seemed that most of the musicians in the UK were there watching it. I don't know who was doing the other gigs that night in London, but there were quite a lot of um, musicians who were play at West End shows who had taken the night off to uh, go and watch it. And I'm going to show you some clips of it, but I have to say, going to watch someone who is fairly indisputably the best in the world at what they do is a fairly humbling experience, and it was absolutely fantastic. So let me show you this little clip. And then they played my favourite track of theirs, which they don't always play apparently. I've heard people moaning that they've gone along and they've not played this track, but it's Midnight in Harlem. They did this kind of long intro and I thought this sounds like it's going to go into Midnight in Harlem. And it did, and it was fantastic. This was the first track I heard of those many years ago. Um, someone played it to me, I was on a wedding gig and the sax player went, have you ever heard this guitarist? And I was like, whoa, no, I have not heard him. So I went out and I bought Revelator um, and listened to that for months on end, much longer than I listened to a lot of albums when I used to put them in the car on CD or whatever I did in those days. But anyway, so I'm going to show you this little bit from Midnight in Harlem, but it was a fantastic gig, really pleased I went. Um, everything I expected, so here we go, here's Midnight in Harlem. to another gig that I did this week. Last week I showed you my in-ear setup. I've been struggling, I've had a cough for a long time and I've, although I haven't lost my voice, I struggle with, I'm struggling with stamina at the moment. Um, so I've been using my in-ear monitors and I used them when I was singing on one of my regular gigs, which I showed in a video last week. And the, the particular in-ear monitors I've got, they're moulded and they're from a company called ACS, but they also have a filter in and they work like standard earplugs, so they you're attenuating the sound, you've basically you're hearing what's going on around you but like the volume's turned down and protecting your hearing. But in addition to that, you've got drivers in there, so you can plug it into a monitor output and you can hear yourself. But you don't have to have a, everything in the band mic'd up because you can hear the band 
ambiently and you can just put a little bit of what you need in there so that's been very useful and that's what I did on this gig that I'm about to show you but in addition to that recently I bought myself one of these because a lot of gigs I go to the sound men put these microphones on the guitar amp now it's these ones that they're designed they're square so they're designed you uh, can tie the cable around the handle of the amp and you just lay it flat against the um, speaker grill now these are the this is a Sennheiser E609. They also do a 906, which has a little switch on it, which people have said, maybe get that one, but they're twice the price, and all the ones that I enjoyed the sound of were the cheaper one, fortunately, makes a change, doesn't it? Um, they don't have a switch on, which I think is a low cut or something similar. But these are great, they're not too bright, and what's good about them, and what I did on the gig that I'm about to show you, is I dangled it over, and I didn't put it too close to the center of the speaker, because that can be quite harsh. I put it over to the edge. So just a little bit of that feeling in with what I can hear acoustically as well. I'm really getting there with the in-ears, so yeah, I would advise getting one of these. They're not very expensive um, if you're doing your own sound, but a lot of sound men use these anyway. And I will do a video where I'll show you the difference with these, but I haven't had time this week because I've had too many gigs. So here's the first clip. Now this is interesting because when I listen back to this, the guitar on stage is much quieter than it would normally be if I'm not using my in-ears because it was really loud in my ears or really clear in my ears because uh, obviously you're hearing it from as if you're putting your head against the uh, speaker cloth. It's interesting, you know, compared to the drums acoustically it's quiet but we had it through the PA so out the front the balance was fine but anyway, interesting if you're getting moaned at for being too loud, get some in-ear monitors and one of those microphones and it should sort it out. But here's a solo just so you can hear the sound I'm using my my uh, Tyler Strat on here. So this is through my Milkman amp, which I've shown in previous videos on my standard pedal board. I'm going to show you another solo from this gig because I thought this was funny when I watched it back. I knew I was doing it at the time, but I'd been to see Derek Trucks a few days before and there were little bits of this solo where I was kind of doing that. No slide, because I'm working on that still. Obviously, just after I went to see Derek Trucks, I spent the next uh, 12 hours Googling SGs and which is the best glass slide to use, which is always what you have to do when you've seen someone who's rather good at something. You think, ah, oh, I can try and do that. Anyway, I was doing some kind of trying to do some Derek Truxy type licks, not very successfully, but anyway, I thought I'd show you this because it made me laugh anyway. Now this next clip, this isn't from a gig, this is a rehearsal of all things. Now, there's another gig to advertise here. If you live anywhere near Basingstoke in the UK, I'm going to be doing a gig with the Robin Scott Band. I'm, I think I've shown clips of that on my videos before, but Robin's a fantastic keyboard player and singer. And we're doing a show, it's called Live from the Troubadour, and we're doing lots of songs from the kind of 70s singer-songwriters like James Taylor, Jackson Brown, uh, Carol King, The Eagles, Elton John, basically anyone who played in the um, Troubadour in LA in the 70s, that's the kind of theme for the show and it's on the 19th of November and I shall put a link in the description for that one as well. It's only £15 so come and see us, it's a fantastic band and some brilliant songs so looking forward to that one but this was just a rehearsal from that, um, I just wanted to show this because again I was using my in-ears and on this particular clip I'm not using the guitar amp, I'm using my Quad Cortex straight into the PA which was great for rehearsing because I could really hear myself clearly and I could put it exactly the level where the rest of the band wanted it and have it as loud as I want in my ears without upsetting anyone. Um, so yeah, check this out. It's not particularly exciting, but just a little bit of clip of me doing some rhythm stuff on an Elton John song. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time.
Now this final clip, I'm not going to show you much of this gig because I'm going to show you this on next week's video because I only did this gig last night so I've only managed to grab a little snippet but one day this week I went and bought myself a new pedal. Now this is very exciting, I've wanted one of these for absolutely ages and I'm not going to reveal it. Here it is, the mystery pedal in here and I'm not going to reveal what it is. I'm going to show you a couple of clips where I'm using just a standard preset off this pedal. I haven't had a chance to uh, fiddle about with it. So if you recognise the preset or any of the sounds, because there's one on here which is a rather silly sound, it wasn't during a song, it was in between. And another one where I did a solo and play that funky music using one of the more extreme sounds which I probably wouldn't have normally used, but because it's new the pedal and the novelty hasn't worn off, obviously I'm playing with all the silly sounds and using it in every single song as much as possible. So if you recognise these presets, please leave me a comment see if you can guess what pedal it is I've bought and I shall reveal it in next week's video. I'm just going to show you these couple of short clips and I shall show you some more footage from the gig with this pedal, plus I expect any gig I do in between now and then will be covered with the new pedal. Obviously, you have to do that when you get a new pedal, don't you? Right, so this first clip, a little bit of noodling around in between songs when I was just scrolling through the presets and I found this one. Very silly, see if you recognise it. I'm going to leave you this clip, this is a solo, play that funky music and I think this uh, sound, it's got some kind of fuzz on it and some octave things. Anyway, it's quite an extreme sound and I thought it sounded quite cool, so I did the beginning of the solo on it. See if you recognise it. Please let me know in the comments if you recognise what the pedal is. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm bringing out new videos every week. I release them, is that the right word? Upload them, whatever, at 7pm UK time every Friday. So thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you next week.